Facts First presents Farmer Calls the Police After Digging Out Something Weird While on their digging routines, these two farmers stumbled upon what they had never thought about. Located in two completely different parts of the world, these two farmers found clues from hundreds of years under the dirt. They didn't have any idea how their discoveries were massively connected. On the morning of December 25, 2015, Jose Antonio Nieves decided to take a walk in his Argentina ranch, as he usually did occasionally. While passing by a stream that ran through his farm, his attention was drawn to something unusual. He saw a large, rounded stone that stuck out from the bank of the stream. He moved to take a closer look at the stone, but upon doing so, realized it wasn't a stone, it was something different, quite unexpected. He tried to remove the mud around this suspicious-looking object so that he could look at it more closely. He was, however, unable to do so, and that prompted him to call Rena, his wife. The two set to work, all in an attempt to discover the mystery behind the object. They took great care as they worked to ensure no damage came to the object. As they continued excavating, they realized the true size, but despite their efforts, they still couldn't dig past it. They figured they would require more help and opted to alert the police. The news spread rapidly. Despite only calling the police, they were surprised somehow the entire neighborhood had come to get a glimpse of this unknown object. But still, no one, not even the police, could say what the object was. The help came from the most unlikely source. It was via a dog that they got the first clue to what this strange object was. The curious crowd that had gathered at Jose Antonio's farm noted that the dog began to sniff and bark as it moved towards the object. With the dog's reaction not lost to the police, they decided to seek the help of experts. At this point, the police invited two local archaeologists, and upon arrival at the scene, they immediately saw that it was something big. They could see the object was from another era, definitely ancient. The experts noted that further investigation was needed to unearth the true identity of this object. This would need to be taken to the lab, which is why they organized for it to be moved to the lab for further testing. The archaeologists also noted that this hitherto unknown object was an egg made of solid material. Owing to its huge size, the object took much longer to dig out, and it was also not easy to transport to the lab. The experts examined it under a microscope and were thrilled by what they saw. It was a type of fossil, an extremely big turtle shell. But that wasn't the end. The craziest part was that this discovery was connected to another that occurred at the same time but in a different part of the world. In a small town in Michigan, another farmer stumbled upon a prehistoric object on his property at the same time. The farmers had never known of each other's existence, and they knew nothing about what would make their paths cross. James wanted the best place on his farm to put a natural gas line. He settled on a rarely used soy field patch on his farm and started digging, but he was unaware of where his digging would lead him. Naturally, a soy field is supposed to be fertile and soft. There were no big rocks or even deep roots, which is why James was surprised when he encountered something hard. Curious to the core, James stopped to check what was there. He couldn't see it, and he started digging with his bare hands. He felt the object was hard and smooth, but it was far from being a tree root or a stone. He managed to dig out the object and upon cleaning it realized it was a bone. However, it was unlike any bone he had ever seen before. It looked like a rib bone, although much larger than any animal that roamed the area. Its sheer size meant it couldn't be a horse's or cow's bone. He became even more curious and continued to dig for more clues. Back in Argentina, they finally discovered the identity of the object on Jose Antonio's farm, and it was amazing. It was a fossilized shell of an armadillo-like animal called glyptodont. According to scientists, the animal used to wander the earth during the era of the dinosaurs. In Michigan, the excavation continued into day two. To the great amazement of everybody who had come there, there was a second bone, this one considerably longer than the first. In this era of technology, news can travel really fast. The small town in Michigan was abuzz with rumors and suggestions of what possibly the bone could be from. One rumor that did quite the rounds was that the bone belonged to a monster that had been buried there thousands of years ago. There was massive confusion and pandemonium when a large skull was discovered, and it had huge tusks connected to it. It left people wondering how an elephant could have ended 10 feet below the surface of the ground in the heart of Michigan. 
James was bamboozled with this huge discovery, so he decided to call in a professional, Daniel Fisher, a professor at the University of Michigan. Fisher was the university's Museum of Paleontology director. Only a day after receiving the call, he showed up with a group of his students prepared for some digging. The man and his students discovered that the bones belonged to a woolly mammoth skull. What was even more amazing was that the bones were fully intact. It's extremely rare to find the remains in a superb condition like this. They then had the task of moving them and ensuring that they were not damaged. They thought of a brilliant way to move them and ensure the bones remained intact. Using their excavator, the team used straps to lift the skull gradually from the dirt to a place that could be cleaned and assessed properly. The situation in its entirety was stranger than fiction. Two farmers that had no idea the other even existed in two different parts of the world stumbled on two massive skeletons on their farms. Subscribe for more.